Hey guys, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars and I'm out here on a beautiful morning with a 1969 Chevrolet short bed. And man, this thing is awesome. <clears throat> Actually, my mechanic wanted to keep this because uh, we changed out the valve covers and saw the roller rockers and he said, man, somebody's gonna spend a bunch of money building this thing. fires right up one thing i like about this it's got a built motor but it's not overly noisy the exhaust is not overly noisy but once you get out here and get on it for just a second transmission shifts perfectly though I leave stuff like that in my video on purpose you know this is part of how classic automobiles are but I'm gonna tell you what this thing drives perfectly down the road I'm not even touching the steering wheel perfectly straight horn does not work let's see the gauges work which is great or at least let's see the speedometer works I believe the fuel gauge works uh, I can't say I know the oil uh, oil pressure gauge works, which is great. And then I think the temp gauge works as well, but can't say 100% positive, but um, it is cold. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I was stomping on it and then it's not wanting to go. That's not the truck's fault. It's got, yeah, now when you rev it up in the parking lot, it sounds awesome. Shorty headers, Wien intake, Holly uh, performance carb. It's got roller rockers. I took a picture of the uh, engine when we uh, took the valve covers off. Inner fender wells are in great shape. It's got an air compressor uh, and it is free. I don't think it would take too much more. I think we might have to change the pulley out, but I don't think it would take too much more to finish off getting the AC going again. It looks like it probably was going and then usually what happens is a condenser goes out or something. So, inner fender wells look amazing. Firewall's in good shape. <clears throat> Aluminum radiator, for the shroud. I just really appreciate the originality of overall of the look. I know it's got valve covers and an air cleaner, but other than that, power steering, Works great, power brakes. Body is very straight. It's got a shop truck uh, faded. You know, I call this a shop truck paint job. I mean, it used to have a nice paint job, but it's all faded. So consistently around the truck. Looks like a little bit of even rattle can touch up on the top. And man, it, it, it pulls off uh, the, the, the shop truck look perfectly. Great thing is, I mean, the body is super straight. So if you wanted to finish it off, you could. This tailgate actually came off of a different truck uh, because, or maybe, yeah, this tailgate came off of a different truck. Um, the one that came on, it was like a Chevrolet Delete and it was, and we decided to swap that out. So anyways, the bed's been recently bed -linered. And like I said, just super, super straight body. Actually, like these old school weld racing wheels at first i was like i don't know about these but i'm telling you man they look so cool on this i didn't want to swap them out of course you know the next guy I may but they're aluminum they're in excellent shape these uh matching bf goodrich radial tas are older they show some uh they show some wear 
but they have a fair amount of tread left on them. When we get up close, I notice there's a little hole there. I don't know if there was supposed to be an emblem. Bottom of the door has a touch of bubbling right there. And this side, just a little bit. Cab corner's rusty. And just a little bit of rust in the rocker here. Bottom of the doors. A couple little rusty spots as we go around it. I wouldn't call this a rusty bucket. We didn't find it with a tree growing up out of it or anything like that. Just call this a old school, reliable shop truck with that's really not been restored, at least not in a very long time. Little spot there, little spot there on the bu bubbles on the door. Bottom of the door, a little crusty on this side. But overall, pretty solid rocker, similar to a couple little spots like that. Doors open and close well. Windows are moderate to open and close. They take a little bit of effort, but uh, they do good. Take a quick look up underneath it. And inner fender well. Looks good, no signs of any rust in there. Looking through the back. Nice and solid everywhere I'm looking underneath these fender wells. Also, uh, that Meguiar's tire shine smells like grapes. And if you're into that, fruity smelling auto detailing supplies, they, they do a good job. <laughs> Pretty solid under here as well. Not seeing anything on the frame that concerns me. Disc brakes in the front and there are power. Inside, a little bit crusty looking and dirty looking from some mud, but actually it's fairly solid under here. A couple little spots right there. But the frame is in incredible shape. cab corner on the inside I mean that looks incredible too that's original cab mounts look great I mean they're older but they're not compromised and I don't see any rust same underneath the bed springs look good it actually rides nice Flowmaster exhaust it appears some kind of a potentially a heavy-duty uh, rear end Strange. It's a 12 bolt rear end. Like I said, it's got drum in the back. Underneath the bed looks good. You know, this is original steel bed. Look at this. So, incredible condition back here. Really, really impressed with how the bed looks. And it's not all beat up. And also, I've had quite a few of these. Usually they're rusted out in here. And this one looks pretty good. One little tiny spot there. And there's a missing screw from long, long ago. But I don't, this, this bed I would say is in pretty exceptional condition considering most of the ones that we see. <clears throat> Even underneath, you're not seeing any daylight through there. I don't see any rust. Yeah, this bed is in an exceptional condition. This is your original cab corner on the back of the cab as well rusty on the side as I showed before and again this is some of this is discoloration from the white there's uh, mud under here there's a couple, there's a spot of rust right there but these are overall looking pretty solid and then believe it or not even this inner cab corner I know I'm going upside down with the camera is original and in great shape the outer cab corner is rusty and the inner cab corner can't get my hand in there, of course, because, and that's in great shape. Really impressed with that. What I was saying about the tires is if you take a look, close look, you'll see that they kind of got some dry rotting. They're holding air fine and we've been driving them around. 
they have good tread on them but if you were going to go on a very long trip you'd want to swap those out so somebody did a you know bucket seat center console swap probably back in the 90s that's kind of what it looks like 2000 model but if it was my truck i'd take these out put the original bench seat back in it uh, maybe get it in, done in burgundy i actually think the door panels look pretty good they're dated there's a couple little spots you know that could be cleaned up like that but um, it does have the ac unit in it it's not hooked up And like I said, I think that's something that could be. Oh, I turned the wipers to go on. It was acting weak. Okay, Mo wiper motor's weak for some reason. So it's just a fluke. Radio works. It's got speakers down here. I'm a little surprised about that wi wiper. Huh. So, anyways see anything else so they put that center console in on the top carpet looks pretty good it's older but it looks clean could maybe use some floor mats so there you have it 1969 chevy c10 short bed fleet side truck with a with a sweet built motor and um, i mean this one i think is really ready to drive i'd say hop in it drive it enjoy it it's even got a radio and uh, would, hopefully wouldn't take much to get the um, AC working. I know that those wind, windshield wiper motors are about 120 bucks. I'm a little surprised that it's doing that. I wonder if once we crank it up, it'll go. But um, anyways, and actually the windshield is in good shape. Usually these old trucks end up with scratches and things. This is in great shape. Weather stripping looks older, but it's in good shape. I haven't seen it leak inside when we've washed it. Back windows also looks good with the slider so anyways this is going to make somebody a super nice shop truck or just whatever you want it to be i think it's worthy of a restoration um, i think it's also if you're on a budget this is a great truck to grab like what we say at my shop i call it going backwards with the paint i would probably consider scuffing it up with the da giving it maybe a little bit more of a of a shop truck kind of look get down maybe even to some of the steel and let it rust a little bit but i mean the grill looks good the lights work um the front bumper actually it looks like it's in pretty pretty good condition besides having that little spot there from hitting something and of course you could put a license plate on that <clears throat> I'm trying to think of anything else you know it does have these scratches on the paint there i mean that's just consistent everywhere and the rear bumper again it looks really good i don't even i don't know that that's original or not but it looks great so uh, there's a little pieces of trim that's missing across the tailgate and the tailgate's got a little bit of a curve to it could be straightened out but for the money i think this is a kick-ass truck and uh you could drive it just like it is and enjoy it or just do a few little things to tinker with it so anyways our phone number is on our ads i'd love to hear from you and uh yeah be sure